Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. <laughs> my name is Andrew and I am the 5pm chef. I hope you're all having a great day. It's a nice, sun, nice, somewhat sunny Saturday here. This is actually my second attempt at a video today because the first one totally died. So, I always have to have a backup plan, I guess. Uh, it's not the video I had intended. That I'm going to have to redo and possibly tomorrow take another shot and it might be a two two video weekend, but we'll see. But for today, I'm going to try and salvage some of what we did before. And this was a, another take at the pizza dough. Just a little bit better quality video, but unfortunately things happened and it didn't work. So... Uh, I hope this one goes because if this doesn't work, I'm totally out of, I'm totally at a loss for today. I think we'd call it a quit and try again tomorrow. I've done pizzas before and they're always that Neapolitan style thin crust that uses a ton of sauce, a ton of different toppings. The pizza we're all used to the domino style or the round classic pizza. Today I want to do a tradi very traditional Sicilian pizza. You've all seen them, you've gone to the stores, you've seen that slab of what looks like bread with tomato sauce on it and that's it. You probably take it home, cut it up into squares, eat it as is. Maybe you dress it up and you turn that into a pizza and use it as a thick crust pizza. Well, today we're going to do the same thing. I'm using my standard pizza dough that I've done before. I will put a link in one of the corners <laughs> to the dough recipe. I'm sorry it's not the best of videos, but in the description there will be a link to the website which has the full recipe. I've sort of jumped ahead a little bit with it because as I said the first video failed and I was partially there so what I've done is we will do a little switch over here is I've taken my baking sheet and it's a 9 by 12 and I've put my dough in there and stretched it out and basically let it rise so in there we have a fairly I don't want to say thick crust but we have a very airy crust so the thing with Neapolitan pizza uh, with Sicilian pizza sorry as you know is they do have that puffy crust and that's what we've gone for here this is not so much a dinner pizza but something you would serve as an hors d'oeuvre maybe or a starter or as a side to have it with a big bowl of minestrone soup or something like that. You can make it as your main course by putting all your favorite toppings on it. But just remember, the more you put on it, the dough will sink a bit and you're just going to get a heavy crust pizza. So try and keep the toppings light. I'm using the standard tomato coulis that I always use and you're gonna see we're gonna put on probably a bit more than we normally do for our pizzas because part of the thing with the Sicilian pizzas is there is a lot of sauce and we're just gonna spread that out fairly evenly we want to try and cover everything probably need some more sauce on there and this is a kit this is a dough that you want to hand stretch you don't want to roll it out you want all the little bumps you want all the little craters that are going to gather up sauce imperfection is perfection in this case we're going to put some more sauce on there. As I said, this is just a... Sorry, it's upside down and everything. But 
a standard tomato coulis. This one has nothing else added to it. It is just crushed tomatoes. Simple as that. I'm not pushing down hard. I'm just I'm just really trying to smear it out as evenly as possible, but if it doesn't come out perfectly even, that's fine. I'm good with that. Next, I guess if you don't like olives, you aren't going to like this pizza, but the, like I said, this is a traditional pizza, traditional Sicilian pizza, and it is literally just mixed hot spiced olives. I've cut them in half. Again, they don't have to be perfect. You can see there's still even some of the chili that they use to spice it with. But you just want to try and get it so that every bite is going to have a piece. Very simple. Very rustic. Missed an olive on the board. Seasoning wise, this would normally get fresh basil, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to put some dried basil down. And then All used to our mozzarella cheese on a pizza. Well, this one doesn't have any. This one just uses some freshly grated Parmesan. And I'm not going for a heavy, heavy coating. This is only a flavor. This isn't going to be a stringy cheese or anything. This is just going to be a nice, simple garnish. And that's it. This goes into a preheated oven at 450 degrees for about 15 minutes. About halfway through, we're going to turn the pizza just so it cooks evenly. If your oven tends to have hot spots or spots that don't get as uh, warm as others, just turn it. My oven, I know, I'm going to have to spin it probably one time. And that's it. As I said, this is my secondary recipe idea for the weekend just because the first one exploded in my face. What we're going to do now is this will just go into our oven. I say 15 minutes. That's all going to be ready. And there we are. <laughs> I'm back. So in about 15 minutes, that'll be ready. We'll come back and see you once it's all done. Till then. Oh. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's 15 minutes later. The smell of this pizza is so enticing. I wish you were here to try it with me. I wish you were here to smell it right now. So have to invest in tech to create smell -o vision or something or a teleporter to send a piece of this to each of you. I know before I even show this to you, I can already tell that some of you have gone, ooh, olives and have tuned out or turned off, but real olives, not the stuff out of the cans. When you go to a specialty shop, and they have the olives all out. Try some of them. They'll be more than happy to give you a sample. And these are the olives that we have on here. They aren't cooked in a can. They aren't overly processed. They are just simple little olives. And they add so much flavor. But the main thing is now... How does this pizza look? Well, 
there it is. We've got a really nice golden crust on the pizza. Nice and crispy. When we cut into this, you can hear the crisp and you can see, whoops, you can see that nice crust. Lots of bubbles, nice and airy. All that tomato sauce is already just dripping off. And the Parmesan has got crispy and golden brown. The olives are nice and warm through. That sauce is fully cooked. The smell of the basil is just coming up through the air. And already, I don't know about you, but well, I can't wait. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> mm. The fresh tomato taste, the, the little saltiness and brininess of the olives. Mm. Excuse me. It's got me salivating. The crisp Parmesan now that's on there, and of course that crust that we made from scratch. The taste of the olive oil and everything that we used in there is all coming through. Wow, that's good. <laughs> I'm naturally going to wrap this up so I can go and eat. So, like, <laughs> today was definitely an experience in when one thing fails, you try and turn it into something else, and it turned into an absolutely gorgeous little side dish or vegetarian option if you prefer. It's a great pizza. It's made with love. It's really traditional, and it's something you should give a give it give it a shot. You'll really enjoy it. Use that same technique with the same sauce, but put your favorite toppings on it. Go ahead and put pepperoni and cheese, or whatever you like. But it's a pizza you can easily make your own. Fifteen minutes in the oven, nice and crisp, chewy soft, everything you want in a crust, and everything you want in your pizza. So, until next time, I am Andrew. I am the 5 p.m. chef. Thank you once again for stopping by my kitchen. <laughs> Today was a little bit of a calamity, but we made something that worked. Cooking isn't an exact science. Things happen, and, well, make the best with what you have so until next time thank you please like and subscribe to my channel like this video this way you'll see when I come out with new videos so until next time thank you and enjoy <laughs>